I have a bottle of Sanjay Tamari, black label, in my fridge and the back reads, Tamari is a premium soy sauce made with more soybeans than ordinary soy sauce giving it a richer, smoother, more complex taste. Tamari has more flavor enhancing properties than salt. Add 1 teaspoon, 320 mg sodium, instead of teaspoon. Salt 590 mg sodium, to reduce sodium intake. Stir fry or marinate poultry, meat fish and vegetables. Add 1 to 2 teaspoons. To perk up sauces, soups, gravies and casseroles. In my experience, I use a little less tamari when substituting it for regular soy sauce. As Sean mentioned, it's definitely a bit stronger than regular soy sauce. I eyeball most of the time, but I'd say I use 1 half to 3 quarters portion of tamari when substituting it for regular soy sauce. I reach for the tamari when I want a bit more of a complex flavor on something plain like rice, when the soy sauce is to be the star of the dish, essentially. I tend to use regular soy sauce when mixing into a larger homemade sauce or where the soy sauce flavor will blend into the background because the recipe calls for so many other strong ingredients. Oh, and tamari seems to add a bit of an almost smoky flavor, it seems. It doesn't answer the follow-up question, but one subtle difference is that tamari doesn't always have wheat in it, while soy always does. This means, if you're cooking for people with gluten intolerance, some types of tamari is safe, while soy sauce never is. I've made the mistake of using soy when cooking for someone. I now have a bottle of wheat-free tamari stashed for the next time, but I've yet to compare the two directly.